one of the things that uh, we're working on here is just being able to move the front end of the horse across with her shoulders. Now we're asking her to side pass her whole body up to the gate. But having control, you also need to move the back end, and so we're asking the back end or hips to move over. Now we'll go into this square corner gate, ask her to shoulder in there, flex her neck around, and then be able to open the gate. And as the gate swings open, we'll side pass away uh, using pressure on the rib cage, and then just flow through there, moving the hips around, then coming back, and then bringing the gate to us. And one of the things that I really like to try and work on is not having the horse anticipate and just stand there after we close the gate and, and relax. I like to choose horses that are quiet in nature uh, and attentive to, to what I'm asking them to do and help me get along, but a low-headed horse that likes to travel and yet is calm in her mannerisms and, and their pace, the way they move among the cattle. Especially at nighttime, it's awful nice to be able to slide through there and in a resting cow herd that uh, the horse doesn't spook any cattle or they don't get up and they're comfortable with me being there. Working horses in this confined area, it sets a foundation throughout their life. It teaches them patience. Uh, it also teaches them how to move different parts of their body. It, t it teaches them to be quiet around feed wagons and, and all the hullabaloo of, of, of daily activities on a ranch. And you can take that in any direction you want to afterwards, whether it be in the arena, roping, but uh, they stay broke and have that foundation the rest of their life.